something you love doing, guys. Work at it every single day and don't wait for tomorrow because the time, the time is now! Yes. You can't help but be inspired by the motivational words of Mark Hatfield. His story is one in a million. It started watching the Miami Dolphins take part in the Super Bowl back in 1985. From his living room in Ottawa, a bold prediction was made. My brother turns to me halfway through the game, he goes, uh, you know what, Mark, Dan Marino's doing so well in football at such a young age, someday you're going to play in the NFL. <laughs> what? Later that year, his brother died of a lifelong heart condition. It was then Mark Hatfield promised to make his prediction come true. Through endless dedication, he made it to university football at Bishops, and five years later was drafted in the first round of the CFL by the BC Lions. A great accomplishment, still not his ultimate goal. Incredibly, that would soon change. Ten years to the day that my brother passed, ten years to the day that I made that promise, the dream came true. I met Dan Marino, I signed my first contract in the NFL. Mark Hatfield had done it. The team he had watched play in the Super Bowl with his brother was now his team, and he was welcomed by his hero. He goes, hi Mark, I'm Dan Marino. Welcome to the Miami Dolphins. I did it! Yes! I did it that day! Hatfield would also play with the Detroit Lions and Houston Oilers. A head injury cut his career short. That didn't stop him from accomplishing other goals. He reached new heights as an Ottawa firefighter. I used to see the fire trucks going down the street and I thought to myself that one day that that would be a fantastic opportunity. When football uh, ended, I could no longer do that. I sort of aimed myself in that direction and worked hard towards it. We're going up. Facing uh, Reggie White uh, is quite an experience, but also facing uh, fire at 4 o'clock in the morning is also a terrifying thing. Both uh, should be taken with caution. A football player, firefighter, fitness trainer, Olympic torchbearer. Is there anything this man doesn't do? He's also a comedian and once starred on the Comedy Network. He's always setting up laughs. Some work, others, well, you be the judge. All right, you gotta get out of here. I got an ax to grind. Whether you want to be a comedian or athlete, his message, you can do it. Giving back like this is what it's really all about. I mean, you know, I thought the football part of it was fantastic. This is even greater. And spend a couple of minutes with Mark Hatfield. Corey Ginther, CGRH News, get up here. And he'll have you doing things you never imagined. Corey Ginther, CTV Sports.